So now I'd like to uh, evaluate your radial artery to see the diameter and patency of the radial artery. Even if you had a positive Ellens test and Barbot test, in other words, showing that you have a patent arch in your, in your hand, uh, that doesn't mean that you are a good candidate yet. What we still need to do is to check the patency and the size of the radial artery, and that's what I'd like to do now. There's gel on the tip, we're just going to scan your wrist exactly in the area where we should, we, we should stick the radial artery. The ultrasound will have two goals here. One is to demonstrate patency. In other words, your artery is open. And as you can see, I'm going to hold pressure against the artery, and your artery is pumping there. You can see the beat of the, of the flow into the artery really well. So that shows patency. We don't necessarily need to have a Doppler ultrasound to show. Just a B-mode ultrasound is enough. The second thing we want to see is the diameter. So now I'm not squeezing the ultrasound as I was. I'm going to release, relax the ultrasound just enough to see the artery. And exactly about one centimeter above the stylite process, I would like to see the diameter, anterior posterior diameter of your radial artery. So right there is a perfect spot. And now we're going to freeze the image and I will measure now the diameter of your radial artery in AP. We should never measure side to side because otherwise you can underestimate the diameter of the radial artery because you can have compression. So if you measure the AP, that gives you the right um, diameter. And as you can see in your case, can you see here? Is Yours is 2.8 millimeters. So above or equal to two millimeters, two millimeters or bigger diameter in the radial artery is acceptable, is good, is safe to accommodate a five French sheath, which is the most common size of plastic tube that we place through the uh, radial artery.